In front of me is a hammer blade and today I'll show you a couple of tricks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're gonna begin with the UI tuner which will allow you to remove uh, unwanted icons from the, the the bar up on the top and to enable it by default it's disabled you want to hold the settings up so when you hold it it will start spinning I'm trying to grab it so it can be visible on the camera you can see it spin right now so once that is visible you can let go and uh, Right now it's telling me that I can remove it, so I'm just gonna to cancel, but normally you would get an info that it's, it has just been enabled. And when you see that it has been enabled, it's gonna be visible on the bottom of the settings list, which is right here, System UI Tuner. Okay, got it. And then you go into the status bar, and from here you have everything that is usually visible in the status bar, and you can start disabling whatever you like. So as an example, I'm gonna cup, add a couple other things. So it's visible. Um, what else can I add? Hotspot too. Okay. So now, as you can see, it's kind of filled with icons. Up. And we can start just turning them off. So. Well, Wi-Fi, do not disturb, uh, Bluetooth, hotspot, and as you can see, each of them are disappearing. Is there cellular data? Airplane mode can stay. What else? You can basically disable everything actually if you would like. So, as you can see. Um, the only thing that is left basically is whatever this is right now, which I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, whether it is during hotspot, so I guess it's just part of hotspot, which for some reason doesn't want to turn off, considering it's already off. Uh, and the only thing that will always stay is the battery and the, um, the time. But mind you that everything is still enabled, so if you go in here, as you can see, uh, do not disturb mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and everything is still on. Just the icons are invisible. It's a neat way to kind of clear the status bar of unwanted icons, even though you most likely know what is enabled. So, <clears throat> moving on, we're gonna go into something that is quite simple, but sometimes very helpful, which is enabling the airplane mode. And uh, you would do this, not really for the purpose that you would normally enable air airplane mode, but it's more of a way to reconnect to a closest tower, a cell tower. So if you have a uh, not too good of a reception, uh, it might be because you connected to a further tower and you can just enable airplane mode, it will disable everything that is on the device and then turn it off and it will then reconnect to the closest tower, uh, basically improving your cellular connection. So it's a, it's a nice trick if you're struggling with like finding a better connection. Then moving on, we're gonna go into the mirror vision settings and basically what it does is just changes the uh, color, saturation and contrast of the display. So to do it, we want to go into the settings right here and it's gonna be under the display. So let's go into the, oops, the display settings right here. And from here at the top, you'll see mirror vision. And then tap on three bars to extend it. And you have picture mode, which is by default set to standard. But you have three different options, which is vivid and user mode. User mode will be kind of, you can customize it. Uh, vivid is fairly nice, adds a little bit more saturation to the, and color to the picture. And you can also go into dynamic contrast. And from here, basically have this flip. And once you turn it on, you can see the immediate difference in the image quality. So if I turn it off, you can see the image kind of get darker and less contrasty. So you can basically get a good vision. So I'm just going to keep it on and that would be it. It just improves the quality of the image. 
Then moving on, we're gonna go into something that is just helpful for the phone, which is schedule power off and on. Basically, to schedule a reboot of the device. Um, and it will perform with the battery and uh, the general health of the device. So you would go into the schedule part on and off again in the settings. And here you have some preset ones, which is basically every day um, or, or Monday through Friday. So if you tap on it, you will actually be able to see uh, what it will do and uh, time seven, repeat every day. Okay, so basically it turns off, so two different times. So it turns off at 8.30, I'm just not sure if that's p.m. or a.m. I guess that's a.m. for some reason. And it would turn back on at seven in the morning. Okay, so that's kind of, weirdly set up because then your device is basically off for the entire day um, but you can just tap on it and let's say when it turns on and it's set at seven so you could change it to turn back on let's put it at for instance five in the morning and uh, repeat every day i'm just gonna set it up as a once a week because that's probably how it how it's actually advised to be once a week basically. So seven in the morning or five in the morning, it turns on and turns off. And we're gonna basically say it for, for instance, 30. And uh, we're gonna put the same day of the week that we already set. And now only on Saturday, the device will shut off at four. If I would actually tap on save, once more, let's do that, 30, okay, and done. And now, basically it said that 4.30 device powers off, five in the morning, it turns back on only once a week. And that is probably how it would be advised to do it. It's only advised to do it once a week. Um, anything else is just more of a battery saver if you want to basically shut it off every night, for instance, you can set it up like that. Um, if you don't really care for that, you can just keep it as, as it is right now. And then the last thing I wanted to show is the developer options and more precisely the animation speeds. So as you can see, yeah, you have kind of like these animations everywhere of sliding down, closing, minimizing, stuff like that. And if you go into the settings and then about phone, which is at the bottom and find the build number, so right at the bottom again, tap it seven times. Okay, so I'm already a developer. So if I go back, uh, I already have developer options here. And if I go into them and scroll down, I will find something that for some, wait, if I enable it, okay, there we go. Uh, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animation duration scale. And the first one, uh, basically represents the speed of this window, how it opens and kind of all the other windows. Then transition is I think going between pages and animation is basically anything that closes, opens, stuff like that. So for instance, I'm just gonna turn this off. And now if I click on it, there is no animation behind it. It just kind of appears. There's still a tiny animation of like the shadow, um, but it doesn't represent the this at all. And I can do that for basically all the other ones. And now if I close it, there is no more kind of like this animation that you had previously. Whatever I do, it's just instant pops in and out. But if you, let's say, want to have animations, you can just set it to half speed instead of one that it's set by default. And now you will have still animations, but they will be just way faster. So you can see. So that's a nice thing you can change. No, where was it? Just gonna go back to default. Yeah, as an example, you can see it's a little bit slower now. So those would be all the tweaks and tricks that I want to show you. And if you found them in any way helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.